All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, my goodness. What a week. I just came over here and I forgot the rocks. So I had to run over. So that's why I'm a minute late starting. Whew. Feels like we haven't hung out in a minute. I hope everyone's doing good. I haven't updated my uh, my little um, branding thing. It's still New Year's Eve. I wanted to do uh, something Valentine-ish, and I have not done that yet. So anyhow, let me know when you're here. Um, pop into the comments. Today, I am going to work on a similar design to the one that was released yesterday. Sorry for the shakiness. This thing is shaking a little bit. Hold on one sec. Let's see if that helps stabilize. Um, so I kind of got it started already just because I didn't want to stuff to sit and watch paint dry. Um, so I got it started with a white background and a light pink. Um, looks like my connection is struggling. It's a little fuzzy, so I apologize for that. But I've got a light pink heart. And I think I'm going to go outward with some shades of pink. So I've got a lighter shade of pink and then a little bit brighter of a shade of pink and then a little darker shade of pink and then some purple. So same idea as yesterday's video with the dots going out and a little bit of glitter paint. Hello, Tammy. How are you feeling? I'm so sorry that the COVID got you. I hope you are feeling so much better. Um, I'm so glad to have you back. <laughs> um, I'm going to start out by adding a little bit of hologram glitter paint to the center of this heart. So a little bit different than um, yesterday's design because I didn't add anything to that center heart. But this one I'm going to because um, I don't think that I'm going to do the colored glitter paint on this one. I'm just going to do the dots and maybe add some hologram glitter paint. So I'm slightly different. Um, oh goodness, huge headaches, digging the colors. Headaches are not fun, I'm so sorry. Not fun at all. I feel like we're surviving. We had it hit our house as well, but not everybody in the house. The two older kids were exposed by no fault of their own. Um, and so they are the best kids ever because they stayed in their rooms for 10 days <laughs> so that the rest of us would not get sick. Um, we took the extra precaution of going for the old 10 day recommendation as opposed to the five, just because it would be really hard if Sammy got this, right? Um, because he's not gonna stay put in a room for five days or 10 days. <laughs> so. They were really just amazing about staying in their rooms for that amount of time so that the rest of us didn't get sick. So three of us managed to knock on wood, not catch this thing, and they are back to normal. Um, they weren't super sick, but it wasn't pleasant either. I don't want to minimize it, but uh, so that was our situation and so I was working remotely and delivering meals and water and whatever was needed and having to, you know, suit up and try and keep all the germs contained to those rooms. So it was, uh, it was very challenging, but I think we, we did a good job. And like I said, they were troopers. I, if I could give them a million gold stars, I would, because they prevented us from getting sick because they stayed put. So, um, that's where we're at. And I think my dry hand problem went um, escalated <laughs> over that because I was washing my hands so much. Um, but Tammy, I got some of your, uh, I got some of your, um, oh, what was it called? The uh, Palmer's, the hand cream. Because I saw it at Walmart. I had another suggestion from a friend about something to try. And this was at Walmart right in front of me. So I just grabbed it. And it does help. It definitely does help. It goes on a little, it's a little oily, but it's, it sinks into your skin. So it does help. Um, so yes, I did try the Palmer's. It's helping. Um, I put that on and then I'll put lotion on top of it. I went and got some, um, 
Bath and Body Works has their, what, semi-annual sale right after Christmas. So I had gotten some of their the creams, the shea butter creams, shea butter creams that have the, they're thicker and they're a little more um, moisturizing. So I put that on top of it so that it helps seal it all in. <laughs> Going for broke. Um, but one of the things that happened to me during all the COVID is, I don't know if this happens to anybody else, but I, my skin will split right here where your nail grows out on both of my thumbs. And it is so painful. Oh my gosh, it hurts so much. Like you don't realize how much you use your thumbs until one of them is injured, so to speak. And so my remedy for it is a funny one. Maybe it'll help you. Um, is you put super glue. If you have a split like that or like a crack, I guess cracks happen in feet a lot. And I think that's why super glue was originally invented was for cracks like that. But if you put super glue in it, it seals it up and um, it solves your problem. Like it's like its own little band aid, and then it can heal. So if you ever get a crack in your skin, super glue. So we don't do just do rock painting here. We're doing life hacks too. <laughs> Hello, Mary Jane. Yes, I do have some pretty cool kids. They're pretty amazing. <laughs> they are pretty awesome. And I'm so glad they're feeling better and that they didn't get super sick. I think they had youth and the vaccine on their side. So they didn't get super, super sick. But like I said, it wasn't, I don't think it was fun either. So um, really interesting how it hit both of them different and they're twins. So you would think they'd be pretty much the same but it was it was a different adventure for both so I'm glad we're on the other side of that knock on wood and none of the rest of us get it um, definitely ramping up at the hospital my husband works at the hospital and so precautions are ramping up and um, cases too so just everybody stay safe and do everything you can to stay healthy and just stay home and paint rocks, right? <laughs> we stay home and paint rocks. Nobody will get <laughs> nobody will get uh, sick. Just stay home and paint rocks. We don't need to work. <laughs> um, I just have the three, Tammy. Just Sammy and the the two twins. They're older. Um, yeah, I think from what I hear from them, it's kind of going around the high school too. So I. I think it's going to be interesting to see if our um, school system can hold up to this because I see it's affecting a lot of school districts and the poor teachers are just, they're sick too and they're worn out. I think the teachers, I put them in the same category as the healthcare workers in a lot of ways because they've had to bear the brunt of so much of this. So um, I appreciate our teachers so much. So obviously this one is a lot smaller than the one from the video yesterday. I wanted to show you that this design works on smaller rocks too. And so I'm kind of sticking with a pink theme on this one, kind of fading out into purple, but um, just for a different idea of how you can use the, the dot design. So we're just gonna kind of go out into brighter and darker pinks and end on a dark kind of irisy purple will be the last round before we start alternating. But much smaller rock, and I was in such a hurry that I only base coated the front of this rock before I had to come over here because I needed for it to um, dry before I came over. Paint rocks and watercolor scene, ah. Yeah, I don't think I would use watercolor as outside of the rocks for me because you guys know I don't do very well with like, realism so an actual like winter scene would be very intimidating but man am I kind of obsessed with those um those metallic watercolors I got oh my gosh they are so much fun like I literally could just sit and paint lines and watch the watch the glitter settle or the metallic part settle because it's so pretty <laughs> but anyhow so how is everyone's new year are you off to a good start Everybody knee deep in the football playoffs. <laughs> Sammy's new obsession is football. So he is, he knows all the teams and he's understanding what playoffs mean and that it leads up to the Super Bowl. And he informed me this morning that um, on the Super Bowl, 
Super Bowl Sunday, you only eat chips for dinner. <laughs> so we have to buy chips for the Super Bowl. <laughs> I thought that was funny. So we'll definitely have chips on hand. I can't say that we won't have other things also, but chips, chips will be there. <laughs> funny oh goodness I just feel like I'm a little behind the gun on everything from rocks to work I have a really huge report that is due at the end of the month to the federal government and I feel behind on that but I'll get there I'll get there and I have a really cool team this year in place that helping so that makes all the difference when you have help <laughs> you agree with sammy and chips who wouldn't agree with sammy i mean sammy could probably tell us to go eat tree bark and we all would do it right <laughs> maybe maybe not he's kind of convincing when he's that cute but you know Ah, so the Titans are doing big week today. Okay. Oh, okay. Got it. I am not keeping up on who's who's in what. We did watch, what was it yesterday, the Raiders and the Bengals, because um, we're in Nevada, so Vegas Raiders are now in our state. Not my favorite team, but uh, we were watching because it was on, so we'll see. No tree bark, Mary Jane? <laughs> Come on. It's probably healthy. There's probably some secret sauce of health benefit if we ate tree bark. Probably save us all from COVID, right? <laughs> no, just no fancy scientist has figured it out yet. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> After this, I have to run an errand and go pick up. I was supposed to have a hair appointment on Friday to get my hair colored and cut but my poor hairdresser got exposed potentially exposed to covid having dinner with someone last week so she's quarantining to be safe and she's also at the tail end of a twin pregnancy so i think that's probably smart for her to just rest but her partner at the salon is going to mix up the color for me and i'll just go pick it up and come home and do it myself can't cut my own hair but i can color it <laughs> Sammy and I will go for a little drive, but other than that, we're kind of laying low, staying close to home just because we don't want to get sick. And I think I got used to laying low and staying close to home and I don't mind it. I know some people really want to be out and about, but I think that's my, my dad's genetics in me. He was kind of a home buddy loner and I don't, I don't mind staying home, especially when there's piles of rocks to be painted. If I could just get a winning lottery ticket, I could stay home and paint rocks and pay all the bills still. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So you can kind of see how this is fading out from a lighter pink to a darker pink. Oh, you have snow and ice. Cool. All of our snow from that big storm around Christmas, between Christmas and New Year's, melted here. Um, we are getting a lot of frosty mornings, pretty frosty. Um, and then I'm hoping for more snow. It's been actually almost unusually warm this week, like sunny and which I will not complain. That was actually a blessing in disguise because it let the poor kids open up their window when they were in their rooms, um, which was good. So, but I would like some more snow. Okay, now we're coming into the dark purple. Coming around the bend. This one's going to be kind of cool, I think. Let's see how we do here. Oh, you got your snow and ice last night. Uh-huh. Ice is not fun. Snow is easier than ice because that was a lot of our problem during those last storms is um, it would get warm enough during the day to melt the snow to kind of slush or to wet. 
And then the temperature would drop all of a sudden and it would all freeze and the roads were just skating rinks. It was awful. Um, Cause ice, you can't really do much. Like it's snow, you can chain up and there are strategies and four wheel drive helps and stuff, but ice is a, just a different beast. And we have interstate 80 that connects this area to like Sacramento and California. And, um, it was closed for, I think, four days straight. And it, I saw some article on like day three that was saying it was costing like $300 million to have it closed that long because, um, you know, the semi trucks travel that route all the time and they're delivering things. And so our shelves started to get bare. We went to Costco on New Year's Eve or just before New Year's Eve. And like those, you know how Costco has those really huge like their shelving goes to the ceiling almost and they always are full on those top shelves it's like their inventory storage or whatever and even those were empty it was so weird and I think that was that was right after the pass had opened and they were um they were just starting to get a truck trucks were coming through because they were trying to get those pallets out on the floor it was crazy but but they had to close it I think it was a good decision because people I hate to say this, but the, some of the city people that come over from California to go skiing in Tahoe, um, they don't know how to drive in it and they force it and then they get crunched or they fly off the road or um, if the semis jackknife, if, you know, nobody can get up there to fix it. And it was just, it was a mess. So I think it was as much as it was inconvenient, it was a pain. So I'm in Northern Nevada, Tammy. So close to Tahoe, not so close to Vegas. Everybody thinks this area, you know, Nevada, Nevada is a big state mileage wise. So if I were to go to Vegas in a car, I think it takes eight hours. So like when I have to go there for work, we fly, obviously. Um, but Tahoe is not too far away from us, which is really nice because it's beautiful. Um, so we kind of get a taste of all the seasons, and I like that. We get all four seasons, which is nice. Now I'm just starting to alternate the colors, or the rows of colors, I guess, around again. Let's see how they go. And yes, those big rocks, Tammy, they actually came from... My mom's neighbor was, I think, cleaning out their yard and they had all this big river rock for landscaping and they were getting rid of it. And I think my mom was going to use it to line some of her. Oh my really, dog? Oh my gosh, sorry. That's our six pound Yorkie thinking he's a German shepherd because he heard a truck driving outside. <laughs> um. I know it wasn't you. It was the truck outside. What truck? Somebody drove by and he thought they were coming to steal us or something, I guess. <laughs> um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, careful, don't bump. Oh, I actually made you shake. But I think you weren't painting at that time. I know. Don't do that. Not funny. Um, Tammy, yes, I, not a lot, but I, I go there a lot. Um, one of the... Where? One of the grants that I work for is a statewide grant. So we have branches of it, things that we fund all over the state. And so there's like three sites in Las Vegas. So I go there enough in pre-COVID times, easily three to six times a year. Um, and the year just prior to COVID, I went there even more because we hosted a conference there so um there was a lot more extra trips to plan the conference which was cool um so I feel like I know my way around Vegas pretty well um and it's fun to be able to go I think I've said this in the videos when you go during like the week when it's midweek um there's a lot less people there because obviously people go on the weekend so a lot of times I can stay at you know hotels on the strip that they're, they're kind of cheap during the week when not all the crowds are there. Water in there so I can wash off that. Okay. 
Um, so it's fun. It's fun. It's old sometimes, but it's fun. <laughs> Um, but travel, traveling now just feels weird because I'm just, I'm, I feel out of practice because it's been two years of not, not really doing that. So you're dripping, dude. Don't. Thank you, your skin. Whoops. I used the wrong end of the dotting tool. What one did you do? I did number eight instead of number seven. I've been using number seven. And somehow I switched to number eight. So you're using number eight? Now I'm doing number seven, but don't bump me, okay? I was making gas bubbles. Sammy's here for moral support. Did you just say you're making gas bubbles in my water? What? <laughs> Silly. More oh, gas bubbles. Oh, fun times. Mama, look at me. You're silly. You painting your own face? Probably not a great idea. Why are your fingers yellow? What's that from? Oh, probably from the candy. Guess what? You know there was a bunch today? I ate the rest. Great. I'm calling Grandma. We'll send you to Grandma's house. <laughs> so you can bounce off the walls there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. You live close to Nashville, but don't like big cities. Yeah. I grew up in a very rural um, area. So very, I don't even think small town necessarily describes it properly like we didn't have traffic lights there was no mcdonald's there was uh, yes in the 80s but not where i grew up <laughs> i'm not talking time i'm talking place <laughs> so it was very 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 small so i can relate to that and i Look would much is left. yep I would probably live somewhere like that right now if there was work. The problem with the small areas is there's no no jobs for me and what I do. So maybe what someday in the live stream? maybe we can retire there. <gasps> what? what? Oh, that is a good idea. Maybe we should do that one of these weeks. Sammy, Sammy has a good idea. He says that he should paint a, a, ro a rock in one of the live streams. I think that might be kind of fun. What? Maybe I can set up two cameras one of these weeks. That would be a good experiment. Wow. He for could, me? Yeah, you could be at one and I could be at one. We could have two, there'd be two squares on the screen for them to see. Wait, guess what? Hmm. That means you're, you're going to play off your desk. Like, so. Well, you wouldn't even necessarily have to be right here if I set the camera up somewhere else. You could sit at your desk and have a camera. <gasps> And oh, I could sit at my desk. I have a really good idea on the shelf. Oh, maybe. I have like a seat there, mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. I sit, and I can talk. Can you talk through your hiccups? Stop making a mess with the water, please. I'm touching it. <laughs> See my fingers? That's a good idea. See, all that's coming off. Good question, Tammy. I hadn't planned on it. I did think about doing, hey, you're dripping all over. I did think about doing not the colored glitter like I did on yesterday's design, but putting the hologram glitter in the same way, but it would just be the same kind of clear, clear colored glitter so that it's got the sparkle. Hey, be careful with the water, please. Mama, look at um, this is we'll cool. see. I think I can't room for about... Maybe the last two colors. Let's see. You are making a mess. Please stop dripping. There's all kinds of plugs and stuff over here. We don't want to drip water on them, okay? Why? <laughs> it might be an adventure of a lifetime for us to be painting at the same time together. <laughs> Usually I, well, I think it, it might be, it might be doable. We will put that on the, the live stream bucket list because uh, he does paint. And I usually just set them up with those. Um, oh, what do you call them? The chucks pads that kind of keep everything protected so he can be a little messier than the rest of the world with it. And then. Oh, thanks. Inside the ears. No, don't do that. Why? Because that paintbrush isn't clean. Hopefully, I will be on, on schedule with the two videos for this week. So I'm pl planning for 
Tuesday and Thursday. I just was, just got behind the gun and you can understand why <laughs> last week I had plans, but it just was, it was a lot trying to figure everything out. So I think we'll be fine this week. And especially it helps that we have an extra day off for the weekend too. So hopefully you can get a bunch of work done. Yeah. And fun. Work and fun, right? Chores. Yeah, just play with me. <laughs> oh my there's where your earring my earring goes. I'm sorry you can't see this. I can't quite turn it where you Oh no foggy. What's foggy? I know it's a little fuzzy. Why? Is your um T V still on? Yeah. Maybe go turn it off and that might help. I don't know how to turn it off. Well stop the um the YouTube video from playing that might give us more internet power. Oops. Yeah, I can't angle the camera and I'm kind of off the side of the rock. I'm getting close to I'm gonna finishing. Make here. sure your um testing's all clean. Okay. I'm gonna get it shiny. I also need to do your hair. Is that okay? <laughs> Tammy, you're funny. 14 days of Valentine Rocks. Yeah, that would be harder than the 12 days of Rocksmiths. And I would already be, I thought about it, but the reason why I didn't do something like that and I decided to do two videos a week for the leading up to Valentine's Day is because I know people start painting. Tammy, don't. People start painting the... Stop. I'm trying to say hi. Oh, you're trying to say hi. Careful, you gotta put your hand down lower. There you go. Sammy says hi. <laughs> With your yellow fingers. With um, No. People start painting their Valentine rocks now. So I wanted to make sure that the designs, you know, and the ideas, if you needed the inspiration, are out there now. So that's well, why. That's better a furzy. That's why I decided to do the two videos a week starting last week. So hopefully I will be able to keep up to that. And it's all dry. I need water. You know why? Because 12 days of Rocksmiths, I have decided for next year, I'm going to be starting that probably in summertime <laughs> or just sooner. I just, and I had intentions of starting that sooner, working on those designs and the videos sooner, but I just, life happened. Yes, Sammy, what? I'm, I'm getting, the brush was so not wet that it made your hair crazy. Oh, perfect. Now I'm going to smooth it. Okay? <laughs> need a bigger brush. Okay, hold on. Need a bigger. I'll get your... I'm going to show everybody up close a little bit because our camera is struggling today. Let's see. Okay. So you can kind of see how we graduated the colors out. And so I have, it's really hard to see on here. Let's see. I only have one of my lights over here too, because I'm in the process of getting the new office set up. I'm like halfway there. The whole sickness in the house got in the way of that too, but um, we'll get it fixed. Um, what was my point? Oh, I only have one light. So I think that might be part of, part of our um, focus issue with the camera. But um, I think I'm gonna do the hologram glitter, like I said. And so it'll, it'll be the same concept of putting it towards the, the inner part of the circle. Mama, you know how I'm making this work? How? I'm putting the dotting tool through oh, your hair. Oh, I need that dotting tool. I was just looking for it. Can I trade you? Here. A down thing? Trade you. Let me see. A down one? I need the green one. So I'm going to put the put it towards the center, so like this, where the heart is. The other side of it. Am I hurting you? No, but don't pull too hard. That way it's still blooming out. It just won't have color to it like yesterday's did. And be careful you're shaking. And it'll have a texture. The texture on that other one is really kind of cool. And I'm thinking that I may keep that one. Um because it's so big, I was thinking like if you hide it in the community, that might be kind of hard for somebody to like you pick that up and take it somewhere or take it home or whatever and it's so I may put it in our yard we'll see or maybe somewhere that I know it would 
sit and stay, like some sort of garden or a park, maybe something. I like the pink brushes in your hair. Oh, that's silly. I'm just working my way around here. Hoping I don't put my finger in wet paint because that is altogether possible also. Oh no, your hair is all messed up. I'm sorry. I messed up my... Mm -hmm. um, so, have you guys started on your Valentine's rocks? No. no. We're getting there. How much um, until an hour? Like 30 more minutes. 30 more minutes? How many times until you're done with your live stream? Soon. We're working our way when we get all these dots done. I'm curious if other people have started painting their Valentine rocks. Or maybe they don't paint more Valentine rocks. Maybe they're just moving on other things. Now I'm going to use your hand. We'll see. Mama, um, does this feel like Nikki's doing this? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I messed up your do. That's okay. It's the weekend. I don't but have to go anywhere. we're going to go into Nikki's. Yeah, but that's the place where they fix your hair, so I can go in there looking a mess. <laughs> so silly. I want you to be careful water. not to stop dripping water. Stop. That's silly. Water. Yeah, but I can't see when you drip water. What if it gets in my eye? Mm -hmm. Mama, am I being not good? All right, let's see here. Oh, Tammy, how fun. You're watercoloring a bunch of cards. Like Valentine cards that you're going to give to people? That's fun. I was just asking Sammy this morning what he wanted to do for his school stuff. If he wanted to make something or if there was a particular something he wanted to buy. Because sometimes they want to buy the latest cartoon or, you know, whatever they're into. Um, I don't think he's decided yet. It may, I made me realize that, like, the older he gets, this is our last chance to make, like, the really cute, fun Valentines. I had done ones when the twins were in kindergarten, and then he did it last year when he was in distance kindergarten, too, where um, you take a picture of them, like, holding their fist out, like they're holding something, and then you have them printed as photos, and then you take, a like, a box cutter or a razor and cut a slit where their hand is like the top and the bottom of their hand and then you slide a sucker inside of it it's the cutest thing it turns out so cute every time yes you can say hi just say it they can hear you i'm sure they've heard everything you're talking about so far say hi hi <laughs> Hold on, hold on. We got a football update here. Uh oh. What? The Cowboys and 49ers are starting on CBS right now. I don't think CBS. We have that. We just have to, you have to turn off the PlayStation. You go ask Donnie. Ask Donnie if he'll help you. And there he goes. Thanks, Mary Jane. <laughs> That's if. Donnie can figure out how to switch it from one thing to another because it. we just got a new TV and it's a little more high tech than the other one. So we'll see. Thanks, Donnie. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And then I'm not going to be able to pull him away from it probably to go run our errand after this. <laughs> figured out <laughs> all right so you can kind of let's see I'm, I'm gonna laugh at this picture I have no idea what it looks like on your end but it looks a little fuzzy on my end so um maybe turning off him watching YouTube will help improve but you oh no it froze up of course perfect there we go so you can kind of see the dots of the glitter there so it's still going to have a cool shine to it, similar to what the other one yesterday did, just different. So it's a good, I guess, example of how you can um, tweak, tweak things. 
um, to the colors you want or, you know, or you could, like Tammy suggested, instead of doing the glitter, you could alternate the colors and bloom them out with smaller dots or center dots in between. There's all kinds of things that you could do. Yes, please. Turn it, it down. Was on zero. Bit. Oh, well then turn the volume, the stereo thingy down. I did it. It's at zero. Okay. Oh, 49ers used to be your team, Tammy, huh? Yeah, that's that's the closest NFL team to our area. So I think it's just kind of the popular one. And then, um, yeah, a lot of people here. I think that's probably my default reason. I don't follow football super closely, but if I had to pick a team, that would be the team I'd pick because they're closer. But just a good football game in general is always fun to watch, right? When my daughter was younger and was doing the, she was doing like the little local cheerleading thing. And, um, I had so much fun watching those little boys play football because it's hilarious when they're little. <laughs> it's pretty cute. And they're pretty good, which is, I guess that's that's part of city life compared to country life. Because when I grew up, we all played every sport in high school and middle school because that's all there was to do. So everybody played or you did something else like 4-H. But most of us, because it was such a small school, played sports. And you didn't have to worry about tryouts or any of that stuff. Like even if you weren't, you know, the best at the sport, you still made the team and still got to play. Um, but here it's like, you have to, um, you have to, uh, you have to be getting good when you're in first grade and kindergarten and, <laughs> you know, like it's just crazy, but, Oh, we're getting a sport report here. Let's see, number 22 is back to playing. I think his name is Derek Henry. Was he out injured, Mary Jane? That's the one bad thing about football, though, like if Sammy wants to play, I'm, I worry because, man, the concussions and the must be me aging watching them all. <laughs> um, just, uh, it's a rough sport, but it's pretty cute. Sammy asked for, he wanted a football helmet and pads and a jersey and all the whole everything. He asked Santa for that and got it and got Dallas Cowboys, which in a lot of ways is a rival of the 49ers, but his teacher really, really likes the Cowboys. So that's why he chose that. So he has a helmet and a jersey and... I have never been more grateful to Santa in my entire life for the shoulder pads because he was very creative. I will give him all the credit for being creative about um, how he did this, but he would create shoulder pads out of, he would take the Christmas stockings down and roll them up and put them in his um, shoulders to make his own shoulder pads. But then if they weren't just right, or if they moved, oh my goodness. Six-year-olds don't always know what to do with all of their emotions, and it was rough. So the little play shoulder pads that Santa brought were like a gift to Mommy, too. <laughs> so he's been having a lot of fun with that. Grandma got him a real football. He's been going out and playing with Daddy in the yard. So that's fun. And basketball. He's playing basketball, too, which is fun. So... I guess I haven't been paying attention. So it sounds like he had an injury, he had foot surgery, but I hadn't even thought about the COVID list and how that's affecting football. I haven't been paying attention to how it's affecting the pro sports because I know it's been affecting our local university because uh, like a whole bunch of games have been canceled. And I don't know if that's because too many people ended up positive or what, but I hadn't been paying attention to how it was affecting the Oops, the pros too, but everybody. 
You guys are funny. You know your football stuff. <laughs> Good job. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm working my way around. I'm almost there. I've got two more rows after this one. And I might give another coat of the hologram glitter to the heart just to make it pop too. Because extra coats of hologram glitter are good for everybody. Gotta have that sparkle. Too much fun. And then maybe we'll be able to watch a little bit of football. And then go run the errand. Oh, you guys are funny. <laughs> Hi, Terry. How are you? We are on the sparkle train here. Mary Jane and Tammy are on the football train, and I'm on the sparkle train. <laughs> That's okay. I like this color choice. I was trying to figure out what graduated. I knew I wanted to do graduated colors. And I thought about doing, like, you know, teal's my favorite. I thought about doing versions of that. But um, I thought, oh, let's keep it a little Valentine-ish and go with pinks. Red would have been a fun color to throw in this, too. Maybe have red instead of the purple. Um, but some of my reds are the, the gloss or the semi-gloss from folk art because they are better coverage when you're doing them like to make them a solid background. And so for dotting, they end up getting those little peaks in them. So it's kind of, um, I like to be able to swirl them out. It would have taken longer. So this worked. Maybe one of you guys can do one with some red in it. Let's see how that goes. It is a great day for a mandala heart. And technically, this isn't even a mandala heart because I'm not really paying attention to how I'm lining up the dots, which is one of the reasons I put that video out because I know that there's a lot of you that get intimidated by the mandala pattern and lining them up and, you know, all of that. And I just wanted to show you that dots can be used in a different way and create something really cool without having to worry about it so much, which is nice. So. I hope that was helpful and maybe a little less intimidating. Yes, we're keeping the purple. We are keeping the purple, Tammy. <laughs> All right, I've got one more row here and then I think I'm gonna add a little bit more to the center first. Ooh, this brush, Tammy got a hold of that brush and it looks terrible all of a sudden. That's what I get for having cheap Walmart brushes, but I feel like if I got expensive ones, I would somehow ruin them so it doesn't look like turning YouTube off improved the picture any so I may just have to kick everyone out of the house when we do live streams or maybe I need to upgrade my internet actually I think I need to do I do need to call and see about upgrading our router because it's the same one that we've had since we lived here and we've been here we're almost seven years and I know one of my coworkers has the same internet service as us and upgraded it. Um, and it helped her internet. So maybe I need to actually just get an updated router and that might help things too. Oh, you're having sparkle problems. What's happening? I've got a few minutes here. If you want to pose the question, it might help somebody else out. <laughs> oh, we have problems with sparkles. Okay, so the picture is fuzzy there too. So it is, I think we're having trouble getting it out of the house and traveling through the, the internet waves. So I apologize for that. I sure do appreciate you guys hanging out anyway, though, for the conversation, right? And I guess you get the general gist of what's happening, even if it's a little fuzzy. Um, and you can ask questions. That's the nice thing I think I like about the live streams is you know, sometimes a question comes up in the moment as opposed to, it's not like I don't answer them when you put them in the comments too, but 
it can be a little more of a conversation. It's kind of fun. So, let's see here. Almost done going around here. This is the part you can't really see because it's off the side of the stone. And this stone was a little bit bumpy in spots. As the first order, my mom and I went in together and ordered some of the larger Mexican beach pebble from Home Depot. And this is the first time that it's come that they came kind of, they weren't as nice and smooth as the other ones I've ordered. So there was bumps or they were odd shaped. So I had to do a little bit of the spackling trick to this one before. Um, and then... Um, which was fine because it just needed a little bit of things smoothed out and kind of like that giant one that I did yesterday in the video. It was pretty bumpy too. And I was only mostly concerned about where the heart was being smooth because the dots for the most part were okay. I think there were a couple where I was on like a crack or a bump that I had to kind of make sure the paint went where it was supposed to go. But for the most part, it worked out good. So... Oh, that's a good idea, Tammy. A big red heart in the middle. Or purple, to tie in the purple, the dark purple, since there's only there's only one row of the purple on this one. Actually, the purple might be the better idea there, because then it'll tie that color in. Hmm. Smart thinking. So we could do that before we hop off. How about that? And I will use the dotting tool. I'm going to make it little. I'm going to make it cute and little. See, this is the joy of the live stream. You guys give me the ideas and we go with it. All right, let's pull this purple out and see what we can do. I like making hearts with um, dotting tools when they're little. Okay, let's see what Mary Jane's got here. You're not happy with your attempt with glitter, so not worth sharing it. You were trying to duplicate the new watercolor glitter paints with just glitter, and it didn't work. But on your Betty White quote. Oh, okay. So one of the reasons you might not be happy with it is maybe it needs some paint underneath. A lot of times the glitter paint aren't enough, enough um, color on their own to really pop. Um, really trying to compete with those stupid watercolors is probably nearly impossible but what I would do is put some paint like the corresponding color paint underneath or you could do you know like a rainbow of colors and then put the hologram glitter paint over it because it'll go with anything um that might be why it it wasn't as it didn't look the same maybe um I would just add a little bit of color underneath to help it pop. Um, whoa, what's on there? I really need to clean my dotting tools. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you, love, you guys love them. It's fun. It is definitely fun. Um, okay, so I'm going to do Vanessa's paint. I'll get a little bit more in the cap. Here. And I'm going to do, hopefully without sticking my finger in any of the other stuff. Oh, of course it's crooked. Fix that. <laughs> it's going to get bigger because it's crooked. Oh, there's the helmet. Pretty cool. Sammy is. Guess what? They're playing in Dallas. The 49ers and. Cowboys. Wait, is it still in the update? There we go. All right. So we've got a dark. Um... What's that Hold on. Mean? That's just the, the thing that I'm using. Yeah. So the black background definitely does seem to bring them out, but I used them on white on the love bug this week. And I used them on white on the Betty white, the short video. And they, they did still come out pretty. I think it's, I'm learning with those watercolors because I'm not a watercolor um, master 
But I, what I'm learning with them is that you have to kind of get comfortable with how much water you want. So something just snapped and made this picture clear. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> um, but you have to get comfortable with the amount of water, I think. Because I, there have been times when I had too much water and it's pretty because you watch the shimmer and stuff, but it also dissipates and it's not as um, vibrant. Whereas if you can kind of get the perfect little blend of water and the water color, then it's got a thicker coverage and it shows up fine on white too. So it just depends. And like, I think it looks better in that case where if you, if you have too much water and it's dissipated on a black background, it looks very similar to like dragonfly glaze, kind of like that galaxy glitterish look. But if you want the more concentrated color, you have to go easier on the water. So um, yeah, just some thoughts, I don't know. And that's literally, I've used them maybe five or six times with intent. So, <laughs> Um, I'm still learning and I'm not a watercolor. I don't know much about watercolors because um, I, the most I use is just the watercolor pencils. So just, just some food for thought if you do have them and you play with them. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that helps Mary Jane and um, Tammy gave you some tips and we'll go from there, but we've got a nice little stick in my hands and things. That's how you know it's time to quit. <laughs> So I put the purple, it's crooked. <laughs> I may fix that when I get off of here because it's going to bug me, but maybe it's, maybe it's part of the cuteness of it, but you can see the kind of the hump of the dots from the hologram glitter paint. Um, this one does not have a base coat of the hologram glitter paint like yesterday. So that's another thing that's different. It's just a plain white background. So I think the hologram glitter paint is going to pop even more because of that, because it's just plain on the background. So just different options and hopefully easy and hopefully doable and fun for this time of year. So um, I'm so glad we got to, to hang out again. I've missed you guys. It's been a crazy week and this is always fun and relaxing for me um, compared to the grind of work and this. I'm not going to lie. It was worry. There was a lot of worry this week because I didn't know if we were going to get it and how badly we would go down if we did get it. So um, my brain was tired this week. So my rocks are literally as cheesy as it sounds. They're like therapy for me. Like if I have a bad week at work, this is what I want to do. And when I do it, it makes me, it makes me happy. So um, hanging out with you guys was a bright spot in my week. So thank you so much for for hanging out and um, keep your eyes peeled on Tuesday and Thursday. Fingers crossed. I can keep to my schedule this week. Um, and we will have a couple new designs out for you. And as long as everyone's still healthy and we're still popping, we'll be back next Sunday with another live. So everybody have a great weekend. Enjoy the rest of the football games if you're watching. And I will talk to you later. Everybody take care. See you next week.